Hi and welcome to The Financial Fox. Today I'm delighted to have with me in the studio Chris Oil that is in London doing his dealing and wheeling. How are you Chris? Hi Steph, how are you? All right. So what is cooking? Oh well, a few, few things are cooking, a few things are cooking, but my actual favourite stock in particular, because everybody asks, Chris, what's yeah, your favourite well, stock? Yeah, but what are you looking? Mining, oil and gas? Uh, Let's start, you know. Okay, well, my, 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 it's basically back in oil and gas. Okay, um, which is your own investment. And, and the oil price is still very high, so it, it's a great time. And, and with the interest in the past few years with Onshore UK, with the, you know, the Marmite to Horse Hill, I've actually found one stock with triple the exposure and that stock is a UJ oil and gas and is better than you could get any oh, other oh it's it, the wheel basins just a bit of a a sideshow compared to this absolute sideshow okay show. so let's uh, well, the stock is uh, Union Oil and Jack so UJ exactly uh, now tell me why you like it well basically the well, what's so exciting is there's very few uh, oil and gas plays but actually are drilling in the UK and that always so you know creates investor excitement and one of the best is up north uh, uh, an actual prospect called Biscothorpe now the difference with Biscothorpe is it's drilling one of the biggest appraisal wells which means that's already yeah. you know they've already uh, found uh, um, oil our traces and oil, so it's de-risked. I think it was BP, wasn't it? It was BP, it was BP. And what's very interesting about it is uh, the actual top case is 42, about 42 million recoverable. Now, if you think about something like Horsell in the latest R&S, they've only got uh, 7 to 11 million oil in place. So if you do uh, a few calculations, that's recoverable, is about 350,000. Yeah, so but, uh, to actually have... A, a, a drill like Biscothorpe that actually got a gross recoverable reserves of could be 42 million. I mean, I know that's the high side. There's a, a smaller, the smaller case is around 14 million. Which but, is still big. But it's but still uh, big. One number one of the point I think, uh, you know, is quite different from, let's say, a play like Wholesale is about uh, that we are talking about conventional. Exactly. Oil. The, we are this not is, talking no, about no, this isn't fracking. fracking. No, no, no. And what's what's exciting about this company? It is a very small market cap, around uh, nine million, and they've got also different segments. But the most exciting thing is the Biscothorpe at the moment because they're obviously uh, drilling and um, you know. Uh, mooted to be drilling around uh, November time and they've also stated the full this in an RNS in the fourth quarter of this year. So it, it's very exciting. I mean, they've only, only got a 22% sort of stake in it, but that means in relative terms, if they hit this all, yeah. which they, you know, it's got a 40% chance of success, it's an appraisal well, that means it's de-risked. So it's got a very good chance of hitting this oil. That means, you know, a reweight. We could we could be looking at a ten bagger because it'll be in the press and everything if it if it if it came in. Okay. Well, how so, about the other assets? Well, the other assets are even more exciting because it's got a defensive mechanism. Uh, uh, in, in early next year, there's an asset they've just farmed into. I think it's about sixteen percent. They've a net to them called Rathlin. And what's interesting about Rathlin is is basically the uh, they've got an asset with 188 BCF onshore of gas and a giant oil discovery underneath which is around 70 74 million something like that uh, about uh, recoverable oil and uh, what's interesting is they've already discovered the top bit and if you you know basically look uh, on the license and this is the crystal and pr uh, personal interpretation of it is it's not only 188 BCF. The whole license there is you're looking at one trillion cubic feet of gas recoverable, and you know onshore that's mega. Yeah, yeah. You that's, know that, that's that you know you're looking at total sort of bragging about they found an, uh, in the North Sea with a trillion cubic feet. I mean the, these or, or, or above that, but the, the capex costs are so low. These are these are you know if you look at what we've been that all the investors are. 
uh, very interested in a real basin. We're talking tiny uh, bits of oil and gas. These are proper significant oil recoverable uh, reserves. I think the one reason that people haven't actually had a look at Union Oil and Jack is it, it, and it had a low market cap is it had a few producing assets. One of them is the Russell assets and they uh, discovered oil there and they're just going through the uh, local council to get it through and that's what kept the uh, share price down because that's how AIM works if there's uh, you know, it takes longer than thought. But what's interesting is the, the, the Biscothorpe, and that's the reason I'm very excited at the moment, is it, it's going to be a game changer okay. for them. That's, that's very good. So we are going to keep uh, Union Jack Oil on the radar and uh, hopefully we are going to have some fantastic news for yourself and all the investors that are uh, at the moment in the stock. Yeah. It's still quite cheap. So, it is very you know, cheap. It's still, still a good time if you want to do your own reserve, exactly. uh, research. Well, I'm still buying even now, so it's very <laughs> That's cheap. good. Okay, okay, fantastic. So uh, let's, uh, I want you to talk about uh, uh, uranium again. Yes. Because, yeah. uh, you know, you are a very uh, strong support uh, of uranium coming back. I am. Uh, so do you think, uh, what, what do you think is going to happen? Do, are, you, are you buying any uranium stock at the moment? Um, just give some indication to invest, because, you know, it's not just about trading, it's also about putting some money aside that in the next year, you know, they can come something quite substantial. Exactly, exactly. Well, I actually, uh, it's gone through the psychological, um, last time I had a look, was over $27 now and it's heading for 30. If it breaks through that, then we're really in business. But I've always said um, it's a three-year view for me. This is the start of the uranium bull market, just like the other last uranium uh, bull market. And I believe the uranium price in three years' time will get back to uh, $148 from where it is at 27. So what you need to be in the most leveraged plays, unfortunately, the leveraged plays aren't in the UK because there's yeah, not... Yeah, we said that. And, and, that and also said what's that. happened to Berkeley Energy. Um, and Berkeley yeah, Energy really. is at, well, yes. Um, I'd, I'd rather not sort of comment about too much about that. But um, uh, I, I, I want to sort of, you know, always talk about the assets are, I, um, for the really investors are um, excited about. And they're based in Australia and Canada. And obviously Bannerman Resources... I'm back in Bannerman okay. Resources. It's going to be, uh, it's one of the biggest mines in the world, tier one. In Namibia. In Namibia. And it's going, well, you know, I mean, in the last, on £270 in the ground, uh, if, or if the uranium price gets to about 148 you're looking at a takeout price of uh, well, anything from 3 to 4 billion US. Okay. And it's market cap of, at the moment, 50 million, something like that, 50 million Australian okay. dollars. So, so you know, that, that's, that's a significant, significant, yeah. you know, it'll be like another paladin. But okay. that's my tip. Okay, <laughs> you know, wonderful. So we got also a uranium <laughs> tip for our investor exactly. today. Exactly. Thank you very much, Chris. All right. Thank you very much, Steph. Thanks. I hope thank to you. see you soon uh, in the studio when you are next in London and also with some more news about UJO. Possibly, I will. You know. I will. Before Christmas, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Bye -bye. Thank you. That is everything from the Financial Fox. See you next time.